evening all it's a lovely sunny evening it's a thursday guess what it's oakley it is <coughs> Hello, mate. Yeah, it's all right. I'm on the bike, mate. Yeah, I'll put... Yeah, I'll just let you know that I've put half a chain up, but leave it down for me. Yeah, I, I ain't going to be back till about 9.30, but I'm, talk, I'm talking to you through my lid, so... <laughs> all right, ca catch you later, mate. Take care. Anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> oh... Good evening, welcome along. It's Thursday night. We are going to, um, to Oakley for American Theme Night. And um, that is how good the Cardo system is. Phone is up here on the screen. Taylor's just called me, which I'll have to blur his number out, no doubt. <coughs> or uh, just come in after the call. I don't know what I'll do with that yet. So footage. I am off to pick up Kathy, my pillion partner. And we're going over to Oakley for the American theme night. And I've knocked my bloody mirror again getting on the bike, haven't I? That's better. Always seem to knock the left-hand mirror when I move the bike around. Right. If you haven't seen the video, Rocky has had a full glossy and is looking absolutely amazing. The GTR is looking amazing as well now. It's really, really sweet bit of kit now. Shame to sell the GTR. I had have two bikes, but I like this more. So, a nice clean bike is off to Oakley. The Garmin is going on tomorrow. Hooray! Get me sat nav on. And the story of the tank bag is still ongoing. It's like, Jesus Christ, how long does it take you to sort out an issue with the tank bag and get it out to me? Uh, if you happen to be watching this Givy, send me a demo version I will try one out but I'm seriously not impressed with SW Motec anymore I just keep getting faffed off faffed off all right they sent me tank bars and I had to pay them a little bit to it so I got a discount I got about 40 quid knocked off great whoopee do the tank bag they knocked 30 quid off but I still paid for the product I said I don't expect it for free I will pay for the product do you know what I should have just expected it for free and then just done, a, done an honest review. The SW Motec tank bag is crap. It really is crap. And if I have to put a Gibby on, I've got to take all of that damn tank ring off and mess around. So SW Motec, get your act together. Send me a tank bag that actually bloody well works. Right, let's uh, get past the traffic. So... That is the ongoing saga with the SW Motec tank bag. Not good. Uh, VMAX goes this weekend. The Maverick goes tomorrow. We have registered the bike for the customer. And I have been doing different bikes. I've got a Jixa 600 that has just come in that we have bought. So I'm looking forward to having a run on a 600cc. Something a little bit mid-range, which will suit a new rider. Come on, matey. Dirty great gap in front of him and he's just sitting there not rolling. Keep it moving, come on, so I can keep my feet up. One thing about this Tiger is the low speed handling is very good with these wide bars, which means I haven't got to keep walking it like I do the GTR when I'm slow moving in traffic. And the best bit is when pillion's on I can flat foot. I can still flat foot, but I have to spread my legs on the seat to uh, roll forward. And Cardo, I believe, has just turned itself off because it's low battery. Low battery, yeah, I know. I need to charge everything up. So, we're going to go and grab Pilly. I'll catch you when we are on the way to Oakley. <coughs> and by next week, when we have a run out, she will have her own Cardo on the helmet. Hooray! So we can have a conversation and chat and you'll be able to hear it without the rudeness. But we'll catch you in a few and we'll let you know once we are on the road to Oakley. It's meant to be good weather all night. Don't like the look of that sky up there, but they have said it is not going to rain today, and you know what the weather's like. So, see you in a few. A few moments later. 
so guys we are off to Oakley Thursday night bike me and it is the American theme night a week late so 11th of July not the 4th they couldn't do it last week so they're doing it this week in the mirror in her Alpine Stars gear is Pillion Kath give a wave in the mirror there she is <laughs> so we're heading to Oakley we will get cardoed up by next week so we can have a conversation as we're riding along and you get you get to hear the little conversations that we have and I have had so many people saying why don't you take the missus you should take the missus no the missus does not like going on the bike never will like that crash helmet look at that it's got the ears flapping around <laughs> oh each to their own anyway she likes to ride with me up the back she enjoys the tiger and she used to ride on the back of another tiger that was owned by one of the guys who goes super sausage martin and she likes riding on the back of mine now and i enjoy the company we chat bikes all the time she's grabbing all the handrails now no no she's got her hands back around my waist there we go <laughs> She seems to just hold on the side of my jacket, but she knows that obviously I anticipate the roundabouts and the traffic. So uh, we have a nice leisurely ride, but she knows how to lean. Thank God. She don't sit bolt upright trying to take a corner. So she does lean into the corners with me, which is good. We're going to run to Oakley. We will catch you when we're going into the village. Noddy nod, my friend and we'll catch up with you when we get to Oakley and the twist is don't nod to him he's an uber we don't nod to ubers toss pots so we'll catch you in a few when we get to Oakley and we are in the twisties So we're in the twisties in Oakley. Weather's not looking good. It's looking decidedly horrid up there. Just hope it don't rain. Because I haven't got any waterproof, so neither has Kath. She's going to end up with a damp patch. Ooh, uh, it's always me has to lower the tone and say something. Right. <laughs> Should be good. Loads of bikers going to Oakley at night. Nod, nod, buddy. So we're through the village, being respectful, watching the speed limit, mind the potholes, and we're going in here, and it, yeah, it looks decidedly horrible up there, she's sliding around on the back seat because uh, Sam went and polished the seats for me, so <laughs> unfortunately she's slipping around on the back end like a squid in water. Right. Where are we going? Well, oh, we've got to go on the bloody field. Right, this is going to be fun. First time Pilly's been across grass on the Tiger. Is she going to handle it? Are we going to drop the bike? Absolutely bloody not. Right, we're going in down there. How you doing, buddy? You all right? Right, we're going to find a puck somewhere. I spy a puck. Right, roll in, stay still calf, stay still, right, damn it, don't jump off yet, hang on, you right? you puck me up, thank you, you managed to get off without me, hey, she got the hang of it, right, <laughs> We are at Oakley, let's have a butcher's around, let's have a look. So, Blue Spivers, all the American cars are meant to be somewhere. I haven't seen them yet. Got Dodgems. We've got, oh, there they are, they're all over there. So we'll go and have a wander around. I spy Mad Old Biker and Boo and the boys. Right, we are gonna go and have a little bit of fun. We're gonna get a glass of wine. Caps all de-kitted now. <laughs> Say hello to the camera. Right, we're going to go off. We'll catch you in a few, guys. Until then, RB is out. Me.
many hours later. <laughs> we rolled it out of Oakley. Oh, what a blast it's been. <coughs> right. We're heading for home after an evening of Blues Brothers American Cars, uh, which we'll probably chuck up in the video somewhere. Have a, have a look around at those. Some beautiful, beautiful cars, apart from the idiots on their little 600 sports bikes that wanted to behave like absolute knobs that we always get out every week. And as always, respect the neighbors. 30 mile an hour, please. I'm doing 23 and uh, yeah great night so I'm sitting up the front she is up the back give us a wave in the mirror girl there she is there <laughs> we will get the rear facing camera I've got the bracket down here look so we've got camera bracket there I've got one on the front mud guard we will get some b-roll shot of uh, calf riding back here and she's all snuggled up, she's got her arms around my waist. <laughs> we met up with uh, Mad Old Biker, and we met up with Boo, which was very good. And met up with Darren Spears from HBB, so it was good to actually catch up and meet Darren. I haven't seen Darren in absolutely ages, and Darren's always the same. Massive motorcycle uh, mechanic he is and he's very good at what he does so i'm going to give a plug for hbb motorcycles and he is down towards um tring and that is my whatsapp going off in my ear that is probably the missus or the neighbors texting me but hbb motorcycles darren spears if you've got an issue with a big bike he will solve the problem and he's very good at what he does so he's based down towards tringway just the other side of Leighton Buzz Joanne's towards Tring. Go and check him out. And if you've got a problem, you live that sort of down Hemel Way, he will sort your bike out. Simon GTR 1400 goes there. And obviously, Rhythmic Biker takes his bikes there. A lot of the big bikers take their bikes down to Darren. Evening, girls. No, we're not stopping. And. <laughs> that's, that's thrown me. Uh, I didn't see a couple of girls on the side of the road. Right, okay. Um where was i yeah darren so yeah darren's very good at what he does so go and give him a check out we are rolling home on tiggy we've had a great blast out and it's just nice for me and her just to get out on the bikes we just we are so mindset on exactly the same thing i did we were sat there eating chips i went off to look at the cars and i said to her oh there's an ac cobra over there and before literally in an instant she's up out of her table and going to look at this ac cobra <coughs> now talking of calf back there calf did have an ac cobra um, she's currently got three cars, Audi A4, Mazda MX-5 and a Suzuki Vitara, so she's got best of both worlds. And we gel very, very well, don't we? Yes, we do, yeah. <laughs> uh, Mrs B puts up with it, she won't ride the bikes with me, but I enjoy time with the wife and I, I, enjoy, I also enjoy time with Pilly Partner. <coughs> And it's great to have a best friend that is female. Why, um, I don't have a lot of male friends, so obviously I, I did ABR, and I tended to go off and do my own thing. I left the boys to get on with it. I tend to be a bit of a loner when it comes to bike meets. I go off and do my own thing, sit around, have a beer. I'm not one of those that mixes in a crowd and laughs and jokes, and because you tend to find, and I want your opinion on this, most blokes either tend to be, oh, what I, what I went and did last night, or I met this bird and we did this, we did that, I don't want to know, I really don't want to know, or did you watch the football last night, or, oh god, boring conversations, with a female you can have a decent conversation. Uh, but the only thing is, obviously, mindset of people seem to think that every time you've got a female on the back of your bike, there is something untoward going on. And it's not. Me and Kath have been together 40 years, best mates, and we absolutely just love going out and having fun on the bike. I'd love to get Mrs B on the back of the bike. I am putting the neighbour on the back of the bike next time. Um, we're going down to Loughton on the 30th and I'm going to take my uh, next door neighbour out and she's going to have a ride on the back. 
her other half doesn't want to go on the back but she said oh I'll have a ride on the bike I enjoy having company on the bike where we can just go off and do bikey things and that's what Kath does right enough of that we're rolling anyone want an ice cream uh, buy me and stop one no that's condoms isn't it stop me and buy one is an ice cream yeah there we go oh lower the tone again uh, I'm doing a little bit of uh, beans on toasty there I think and if you haven't seen that beans on toast I absolutely love the guy he would never ever be he's not a motor vlogger um, and he always says I will never be a motor I hate motor vloggers uh, beans on toast you I think you're great mate um, hello peeps it's beans yeah he's done a great go and check out his last video because I just watch it just to see the bus canyon how he filters between two buses I would hate to put this thing between two buses it was like Jesus Christ it's like take your life in your hands but Moss Canyon yeah Beans on Toast does that very very well and all credit to him he does some great stuff around London where he, he does like the sites and who lives there and you get some really good knowledge of the history of London a bit like I do with uh, Bletchley where I, I ride around and waffle on my ride tests and go oh this used to be and that used to be so go and watch Beans on Toast there's another channel I'm going to recommend and final one and I keep plugging this channel every darn week, but I have a lot of respect for this guy. He's uh, come up through the ranks, he rides a Harley, he knows everything about Harleys you can imagine. Um, and that is Drew from Rolling Throttle. He, had, he did that, used to have his own channel, but he's obviously uh, changed the channel up. He's now got Rolling Throttle. But he is very good at what he does. Drew is smashing some great content out at the moment. Right, the thing with the Explorer, pull it up, check right, check left, and then I can go. I always tend to stop at junctions, just in case there's that car hidden around the blind bend. A very safe rider, especially when I've got her up the back. Yeah. It's all right if I'm on my own, I can take risks and that, but I certainly wouldn't be doing it with my pilly up the back. So, we're going to roll to home. We're going to have a little bit of a blast down the back lanes and uh, open the throttle up a little bit off of camera and have a little bit of high-speed cornering. But whatever you're doing, and that's the missus. Right, bear with me a second, we're going to answer this. Till then, be well, ride safe. Adios.